Brandon Miller, Maxi Kleba, Clay Thompson, Brandon Pajemski, and Tobias Harris are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Monday, February 5th. I am talking DraftKings and I'm doing it right after this. But first, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. And then the big one, sign up at Stochastic. Links in the description of this video. You can get projections, ownership, our Sims tool, our contest generator, our lineup generator. If you're looking for something on the cheaper side, you get premium discord as well. And you can do all of these things just by signing up below. First up for me at number five is Miles Bridges. Power forward center eligible, 8,200 projected for 45. The goal is 49. He's in the winning lineup 23% of the time. I went 38 minutes for Bridges. 1.2 fantasy points per minute. It's an interesting spot for them against the Lakers. Lakers offense, not very good. The, the total here is bad, but the price here is good. And with no LaMelo, with no Terry Rozier, with no Gordon Hayward, with no Mark Williams, just a lot more going on for Bridges. 27% usage, 25.7 rebounds, three assists, a stock and a half. Everything looks good here. I wish he had a better positional eligibility, but even with him essentially being just power forward, it still works. Now this one feels a little weird, but Lonnie Walker is in at number four, and I guess I kind of get it. The minutes have been up in a big way over his last three. Shooting guard, small forward eligible, 4K, projected for 23. The goal is 29. He's in the winning lineup 28% of the time. I gave him 25 minutes, but I think he is very live for a couple extras, but he's still getting to number four at 25, so I'm okay with it for right now. 21% usage, 12 points, three boards, two assists, and a stock. Interesting matchup here against Golden State. They're one and a half point favorites in this one. I think getting him at guard forward and 4K, this is the type of value play that's gonna stick around for most of the day. His teammate Cam Johnson in at number three, small forward, power forward eligible, 5K, projected for 29. The goal's 34. He's in the winning lineup 29% of the time. I have him in for 30 minutes, around 0.95 fantasy points per minute. Obviously the exact same matchup, 15 points, five boards, two and a half assists, little over a stock. But again, it's a very manageable price point and an MPE. Sticking with our theme of Nets, Mikel Bridges in at number two. Shooting guard, small forward eligible, 7,200. Projected for 41, the goal is 44. He's in the winning lineup 31% of the time. I have 38 minutes for Bridges. 24% usage, 24 points, five boards, four assists, a stock and a half. What is it with these Bridges guys playing big minutes? Both of them playing like 38 a night. Mikel just looks better because of shooting guard and small forward. Finally, we close it out with the clear-cut number one play today with no Clint Capella. Onyeka Okongwu is that guy. Power forward center eligible, 5,100. Projected for 31. The goal is 34. He's in the winning lineup 44% of the time. I have him in for 32 minutes. He's just shy of a fantasy point per minute. 12 points, 9 boards, 2 assists, 2 stocks. It is a tough matchup against the Clippers, but they're only 3-point underdogs because they are at home. I got him in for 32 minutes. He has averaged more minutes than that in his starts this year and last year when Clint Capella is out. Even in a pessimistic nature, there's no doubt about it. Because he's stepping into this role and the price hasn't changed the way it should, Onyeka Okongwu is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Monday, February 5th, FanDuel version, around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.